Oh my god, he's so green. I turned him green. I hate this. <laughs> oh! What? I just got destroyed. What was that, dude? Watch where you're driving. All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more shenanigans in Sneaky Sasquatch. We're back at it again, and Dr. Sasquatch is about to save more lives because we have to get ourselves a another promotion today. Hopefully, uh, let's see. Do you need a reminder on how to use the paramedic? No, keep up the good work. Okay, buddy, okay. So what I want to do, actually, I want to chat with this guy. I want to take over his job because I want to try to save as many patients today as possible as I want to try to become a better doctor. Let us see. All right. What is up with you, buddy? Hey, doctor. I've been coughing like crazy lately. Okay. So he has been coughing like crazy lately. Am I just about to give him just uh, some pills for coughing, I wonder? I love that he does this animation here where uh, you have to have Sasquatch typing the message. <laughs> this is just so silly. So silly. All right. Uh, we gotta get a temperature test, so let's do that real fast. Let's see. Uh, he doesn't have a fever. He's 98, so that should be good. It's not that bad. Not that bad, actually. Okay, let's add the observation, I guess, over here. Uh, use the x-ray. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, buddy. Follow me. Let's do a real quick x-ray on you. I think I should have undressed him. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, jump on in. Now, if you guys were wondering how to do the x-ray, because I've seen a lot of people asking about this, uh, you gotta increase the voltage here a little bit to see through his body, but don't get it too much. If you get it on red, the, flu the fuse is gonna blow. Next, all you gotta do is just move this around to look through the body and see if you can find anything. Is there anything wrong with his chest? I mean, it has to be something with his chest, right? Because he's coughing. So now if I do the x-ray, basically this is printing out a picture. Wait, why is it not working? Oh my god. I'm not finding anything wrong with his body, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's anything wrong with his body. So... Why is the game wanting me to take a picture here? Oh, wait. I think I, I think I see it. I think if I'm not mistaken... His bones are broken here. For some reason, I'm not able to... Take a photo of that for some reason. Wait, he did take a photo. Okay, I I'm confused. Uh, the machine here is a little bit confusing, to be honest. The x-ray is definitely a little bit confusing. That's why a lot of you guys were asking me how to use the x-ray machine, because it is a little bit confusing. All right, let's get the image that we just scanned. Although it feels like I haven't scanned it. Yeah, I think what's happening is that his bones are cracked. His rib cage is cracked here, and that's his problem, which means he's gonna need an operation. Uh, oh, he has asthma. Give patient inhaler from pharmacy and run a blood test in the lab. Okay, so we need blood test and inhaler. Uh, okay, we gotta go into the lab then and uh, run a test on your buddy. Let's do this real fast. I should also dress you up, I guess. <laughs> Oh, he's so green. Oh, I think I radiated him. That's why he's so green. Oh, jeez. Hey, Junior Stanton. Uh, does your patient need any lab work? Yes. Please, jot down which uh, test you want me to run. Uh, blood test. I need to take a sample from your patient, then I'll get started. Oh, my God. I turned him so green because I did the x-ray so hard on him. Gosh, dang it. Hopefully, I didn't... Uh, hopefully, I didn't kill this guy. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, here's the test, ready. Okay, let me grab the print. Grab it, how do you grab it? Uh, uh, there we go. 
All right, we got the uh, lab test. Uh, I also needed something from here, but I forgot what. Let me go back to the computer again. It's taking quite a while to do these missions as a doctor. Uh, asthma. Yeah, I know that. Inhaler. Okay, okay, inhaler. That's true. Oh my god. I feel so bad that I actually raised them so much. I actually x-raised them so much. Um, where's the inhaler? Oh, inhaler. Uh, C1. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for what I've done to him. Oh my god, he's so green. He turned into a green man. What the heck? Thanks, Doc. Okay, buddy. Follow me a little bit more. Because I gotta add more data in here. So these are the lab tests that I gotta place in the computer. It's already 3 p.m., seriously. Time is passing so fast. And this is just my first patient for the day. Alright, perform electrocardiogram stress test in the cardiology room. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, God. That's the operating room right here. This is the first time we're doing this. Alright, bud. Uh, start. Okay, I'm guessing we gotta look at this machine here and wait for it to be done. Yeah, and now that it's done, we can stop. Okay, and we can print this out. So he had 79 bits per minute. No problem detected. Seriously? What? Then what's wrong with this guy then? You got the EKG results. You should enter the results in. Alright, buddy. Oh my god, he's so green. I turned him green. I hate this. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to take me the whole day to test out this guy. Uh, I can't get results. Nope. What are you doing? What are you doing? Grab it. Put it here. Look at that. It's already 5 p.m. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, jeez. This is taking forever. All right. We got this going. Run a cholesterol test in the lab. What? Man, what is wrong with this guy then? All right, uh, we need the cholesterol test. I'm starting to be uh, worried about this guy now. Really, really worried about him. All right, we got the test. Let's go put these ones in the computer as well to find out what's happening with them. Oh no. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of the uh, radiation from him now. Now that I uh, put so much uh, radiation on him. All right, go with the lab test. Put him here. It's already 6 p.m. Are you kidding me, game? It took me whole day to just take care of one patient. It's going to take me a while to become a... Uh, the senior doctor. We're a blood pressure test in the diagnosis room. All right, let's do the blood pressure then. 160. Is it good or bad? I don't even know. All right, let me add a data next. I think I did this guy worse by putting all the radiation to him. Oh no, I feel so bad now. I feel so bad about this. Alright, we got the vitamins. I should have run all the tests, to be honest. I should have run... Oh my god, he's still green. And now he's shining. That's what I'm noticing. His green is kind of like shining and everything. What? Imagine he would die. I feel like I made it worse. This guy came here super sick, but I'm actually making it worse with the x-ray. 
run a murals test. Oh my god, this is annoying. Why am I not just running all the tests? Seriously now. Can you not select all the tests and run them all? I wonder. You know what? I'm actually gonna do just that. Give me the advanced report here, buddy. Just run them all. It's annoying to just go back and forth, back and forth. I just want to run them all. Hold still. I mean it. Radiation poisoning. No. I knew this was going to be a problem. How do I fix this? No. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that. The radiation is an issue on them. But he definitely didn't come here with a radiation problem. I just did this to him. <laughs> Oh, man. No, I feel so bad. I feel so bad right now. Yeah, next time I'm going to have these lab tests, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to run all of the tests on uh, the patients from now on instead of just doing them one by one because look at that. It's already 10 p.m. I spent a full day on a single patient. Fish has radiation poisoning. Give patient anti-radiation medication. Oh, okay. So I guess the patient was bitter with the medication that I gave him, but because I also gave him the radiation problem, now it's feeling so much, uh, so much worse. Uh, let's see. Anti-radiation A2, and it's the black one. This one. All right, buddy. No, not. Not that. <laughs> I wanted to give it this, not the energy drink. There we go. Feel much better. Oh, we fixed him. But I got zero dollars out of that because I messed up so much. Although, although I got zero dollars. Oh my god, one, minus one thousand for malpractice. No, are you kidding me? I don't want to do malpractice. Oh, that was not my intent. I'm so sorry. I actually made that guy sick. Jesus, he came in with the asthma problem and I just absolutely destroyed him. All right, let's chat with this guy. I haven't had any uh, shut eye in days, Doc. Okay, let's see what's wrong with you, guy. Man, I really messed him up. I'm so, so sorry about that. I think what I'm going to give this guy is probably some pills for sleeping. Sleeping pills, maybe we can give him? Uh, insomnia, sleep aid from the pharmacy. Okay, I knew it. All right, buddy. Come on over. All right, uh, for the sleeping aid, we need... A1. And is the uh, purple. This one. I wish whenever you're grabbing the pills, you're not seeing the food in your backpack as well, so that it's easier for you to grab the pills instead. Awesome. Mission completed. That was easy. Look at that. And we got 200 for that. Perfect. Okay, let's keep it going. Come on, guys. Uh, during my trip to the desert, I was bit by a rattlesnake. Ooh. Okay, so we got to give him a antidote. Nope, not that. Close, patient. We got the rattlesnake bite. Come on, faster, faster. We gotta give him a rattlesnake antidote. Where's an antidote? Uh, oh, we gotta run a toxicology test. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, buddy. We gotta run a test on you. Thankfully, the hospital doesn't close down, so you can do actually these missions for a long time. Oh, God. I did not want to do that. Uh, nothing, I guess. Hold up. This is the one that we need. All right. Snake bite. Hey. Uh, clothing time. What is that? I don't know what that is. Yeah, but they definitely found, like, some something in uh, his blood. Which means, hopefully, just some pills are going to fix him up. Let's try. Results. Grab the results. Put him here. 
Of course, if you're doing all the resorts, uh, all the results, uh, the scanning, both the scanning and the testing itself is gonna take longer. You can definitely do it, but it's gonna take a long time. Snake bite, uh, anti venom. I knew it. I mean, I already knew that I'm supposed to give this to him. We just had to run the test, I guess. All right, buddy. Uh, anti venom. Let's see. That's the antidote. Anti venom. B2. Which is this one. There we go. And it should be good now. Hey, we got it. Awesome. 250 coins. We got a little bit upgraded here. We're not really getting that much money compared to how much money we're getting when uh can I sleep I wonder? <laughs> I mean you can sleep it, you can stay in bed, but you cannot really sleep. Um we're not really getting that much money compared to how much money we're getting when we're working as an ambulance driver, I'm noticing. But the thing is, we're barely at the first junior doctor level. So we gotta be promoted quite a couple of times in order to eventually uh, maybe get or earn more money. Let's just try to do that. Let's just try to get promoted as much as possible. But I'm gonna have to pay attention now how I'm gonna do the jobs. Oh, I'm noticing that the car is actually being parked by my house every single day. Hmm. I'm talking about the ambulance here. I still really have no idea how to customize the car to look different. Because other than the main color, you cannot really choose the other colors so you can change your car for some reason. I'm not sure why. I wonder if that is a bug. Because I really want to change the vinyl on the ambulance. I really want to change the uh, vinyl. If, 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 not, if I'm not going to be able to do that, at least I would love to reset it back to the way it was. White and red. I would definitely love to do that. All right, let's chat with the doctor. There we go. Let's wait for some patients to come on over. Grab me uh, my paychecks here. All right, buddy. What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know what I got to give you, though. Hello, doctor. Uh, I don't know, doc. I just... I don't know. Oh, he's got a red eye, right? Yeah, he's got a red eye. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm probably gonna have to give him something for the red eye. An up-close visual inspection of the patients. Okay, hold up. Let me check it out. Oh my god, look at his red eye. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Has he been punched into the eye, or does he actually just have a red eye? Eye infection. Ooh, okay. Eye inflammation. Uh, pink eye. Give patient eye drops from the pharmacy. Ooh, easy mission. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of you real fast, buddy, because I want more patients today. Eye infection. Allergy medication. Uh, insulin. Placebo. Wait, I'm not seeing what I need. Heart medication, anti-inflammatory. Wait, is that what I need? Eye drops, never mind. B1. Eventually, we're going to learn all these medications that we got to give them, and we're going to know exactly where to find them. Which eye should I put that to drop onto my eye? Of course, the pink eye, buddy. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, what's wrong with you? Hey, doctor. Ooh, I just said something toxic. Oh, God. Oh, God. He looks green. Uh, wait, turn it back on. Oh, no, we gotta wait for it to turn on. Seriously? All right, let's go back here. Add the comments. It's funny that we're adding exactly what he's saying. Right. Uh, okay, we gotta do a toxicology test then. Come on, buddy, follow me. We gotta do a quick test on you. And this one's gonna be toxicology to see what you have just swallowed. I absolutely love how we're doing these jobs, though. It is super, super fun. All right, poisoning. Ooh, okay. 
So I guess we're gonna have to give him some pills for poisoning, eh? Alright, next. Let me place the information inside the machine. Uh, tests. So yeah, when you're grabbing the test, apparently you cannot grab any food. I wish that would happen with the uh, pills as well. Because it would definitely make it easy to, for us to grab the pills from our backpack instead of seeing all the food that we have. So hopefully that also gets fixed. Uh, give patient antidote. Okay. Easy peasy. Alright, and the antidote is... Um... Wait, where is it? I saw it at one point. Antidote, C1. This one. No, stop grabbing food. I only want the pills. There we go. Does Antidote have any serious side effects? <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> uh, Alright, he's better. We got 250 for that. Uh, let me get my paychecks in check if I messed up anything. Nope, we're all good. We're all good. We're not getting any uh, bonuses just yet because we are just a junior doctor at the moment. Alright, let's see. What's wrong with you, buddy? I got pains in my chest. Ooh, we're going to probably have to do a little bit of um, x-ray on him, right? Paint in my chest. There we go. Uh, stress test, cardiology room. Okay, let's do a little bit of a cardiology room then. I think I gotta get him to run a little bit. And see how he's gonna act once uh, he starts running. Alright, let's get this started. That looks quite bad, actually. Oh, my God. You definitely don't want him to run too much, but, uh... Yeah. Alright, ready to print. Problem detected. Look at that. Heart problem. No, poor guy. Alright, so he has severe heart problem, actually. Not just a heart problem. Alright, buddy. Follow me, follow me. Now that we know what the problem is with you... I love that they're dressing up automatically once uh, they're running through the uh, hallways. Let me place the results in. Wait, what? The EKG results. There we go. We're probably going to have to give him some uh, heart problem pills, right? I think we have that in the pharmacy, if I'm not mistaken, from what I've seen. There we go. Uh, cholesterol. Okay, we got to get the cholesterol as well. All right, buddy, get this one going. Oh, man, imagine people would start slipping on the water there at the top. And you have to treat other people. Hmm, no problems. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> That is actually going to be a big problem, since there's no problem with the cholesterol. What other tests do I have to do then? Let's see. I wonder if I'm going to have to do other tests on him. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Blood test. Dang it, dude. I knew I should do uh, more tests on him. For some reason, I felt I'm supposed to do that. Okay, um... Let's get blood. Vitamins. Minerals. Advanced report. There we go. If we do it this way, at least, we're gonna find out everything that we need. And I don't think, uh, if the blood test is not gonna come out, it's gonna come clean. Maybe some of the other ones are going to come as a problem. The tests do take a little bit longer to do, of course. But um, at least I don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. 
So yeah, look at that. Blood problems, zero. So good thing that I took out the other test as well. Maybe we're going to find something wrong with the other ones. Vitamins also looks okay. Well, if there's no problems with the test here, then what am I supposed to do then? In that case, maybe all I got to do is just give him the, uh, the pills. Since there's no other problems that we found in him. All right, let's add this. Old information. It's already 5 p.m. Seriously, man, the day is passing so fast when you're working as a doctor. I could have done so many other jobs as an ambulance driver. A blood pressure test. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that. Ooh, 126. Yeah, he has uh, blood pressure problems. Alright, high blood pressure, which means we gotta give him blood pressure medication. And... Patient needs heart surgery. What? Oh my god. Poor guy. Okay, so we gotta give him uh, high pressure medication first. And then surgery. Uh, blood pressure, blood pressure. A1. No, imagine I give him that. <laughs> All right. You sure this is safe? Okay. So we give him that. The thing is, you can actually make your patients worse if you don't pay attention. And next up, buddy, you gotta get yourself some uh, operation. Uh, oh god. I'm guessing the heart is here. That's the right side. That's the left side, right? That's where the heart is. So I'm gonna go with this. Hopefully I'm gonna get it right. Torso, correct? Yep. One surgery coming right up. Oh, man. This is crazy. One thing that I can do as well, I can definitely remove this from my hand. We definitely don't need to carry that as a doctor. That one is only for... There we go. Only for the ambulance driver. Oh, no. Where's the undo button? <laughs> Dude, don't kill my patient. Do not even dare to kill my patient. How is he doing? He's gonna go right, I guess. Imagine. Imagine he would kill my patient. All right, how are we doing? Hi, Junior Dr. Stanton. I've got some results for you. We fixed all the problems for uh, we identified, so it was a complete success. Please take your patient to the recovery room straight away. You may want to use a gurney to transport them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The gurney is right over here. No, I don't want to chat with you. Hold up. Ouch. Hold up, buddy. I gotta get you into the recovery room. There we go. Oh, look at that. We also see how he's getting better. That is so cool. This, uh, this patient here took a lot of work to get better. Because he actually required a surgery. Wait, is he better? I feel much better. I think I'll head home now. Are you kidding me? Whoa, we got paid 775 for this because it was also surgery involved. Are you kidding me? So, we got the diagnostics. Oh, so I get it. The more things you do for them, the more the paycheck is going to be. I get it. But that was so much. All right. Nice. All right, buddy. What's wrong with you? Hey, doctor. I'm feeling a bit warm. Um, I'm feeling a bit, a little bit warm. My head is killing me. All right. Follow me. I do see that you have uh, a little bit of uh, an issue there. So, let me go with the patient information first. I'm feeling on the warm side. And also, my head is killing me. This one is probably going to be an easy one. All I got to give him pills is that, and that's it. There we go. So, we're going to have to give him pain relievers. And perform an up-close visual inspection. Okay. Let's give the up-close visual inspection first. So, yeah, he definitely has quite a bit of stuff there. Uh, reliever from the pharmacy. So, pain relievers. Uh, oh, wait. I got to put the data in first. So, I know what other pills I got to give him. All right. Uh, 
pain reliever from the pharmacy. And temperature test. Actually, this is build pressure. I should not do this one. It's fine. Come on. I know. I've got to do the temperature. Yep. He definitely has temperature for sure. All right. So let me go here, here, here. Nope. Add the data. No, nope, stop it. <laughs> yeah, the blood pressure is not something I wanted to do, but that's fine. Now that we did it, we got to finish it up, I guess. So we complete the uh, information. And now we got to go for the temperature. There we go. Okay. Patient has chicken pox. Skin cream from the pharmacy. And pain relievers. So, skin cream, pain relievers, and anti-inflammatory. Okay. Skin cream, anti-inflammatory, and pain relievers. Uh, anti-inflammatory C1. And B2. C1 and B2. So, this. Uh, this, and I think that's the skin cream if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alright, there we go. I wish I could give him all of them at the, at the same time. So we got this. I cannot give him anything yet. I gotta wait for this one. Okay, next one. It's gonna be this. Anti-inflammatory, huh? Which end does he go in? <laughs> Can I take this more than once per day? Uh, Sure. Good to know. Alright, and lastly... The cream, I guess. Uh, am I allowed to operate heavy machinery while using this? Yes. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, there we go. He's better. 400. And I think we're just about to get ourselves... Hold up. Can I? Let me get my paycheck first. Yeah, I think we're just about to get promoted. Hey, Junior Dr. Stanton, I heard you've been doing some fantastic work here around the hospital. How would you like a promotion? Yes, please. There we go. Congratulations, you're now Dr. Stanton. It comes with higher pay along with other great perks such as you can uh, skip the line here at the hospital if you ever need medical attention. Wait, what? If I ever need medical attention? What does that mean? So you can skip the line here at the hospital if you ever need medical... Ah, so if I personally need medical attention, I can just skip the line, go to the doctor, and I can get myself fixed up. I get it. Uh, we're finally... We're really not supposed to do something like that, but we'll make an exception for you. Keep up the good work. Awesome! So I think I just got myself promoted. Uh, if I do another job, am I going to keep on getting promoted though? I don't know where it's wrong with me, Doc. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, let me do a little bit of... Oh, your eye is wrong with you, buddy. We just did a visual observation. Come on, faster. I'm about to fall asleep here very soon if I don't finish up the uh, mission. Pink eye, give patient eye drops. Okay, easy mission. I uh, love this. Okay, we need eye drops. B1. I'm starting to learn. I'm definitely starting to be better at this. Definitely, definitely starting to be better at this. Eye drops? Hmm, never heard of this before. Do you think it'll help with my pink eye? I'll give it a try. Do you need to take this with food? Uh, no. Good to know. <laughs> awesome! We fixed them! Oh, we can actually become a better doctor. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is gonna be so much work then. So much work. Oh my god, look at how many patients there are. Oh, jeez. Dr. Stanton has a lot of work to do. I'm not going to be able to finish all these patients, dude. This is insane how many patients there are. Are you kidding me, game? All right, well, there we have it, guys. We just got ourselves promoted to uh, Dr. Stanton. i um, curious what else we're going to be able to do. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to be able to be promoted to Chief Dr. Stanton eventually. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you all next time soon. 
And don't forget, if you want to help this channel up, grow up even more, you can uh, become a channel member, get yourself some extra perks, including a lot of awesome things during the live streams, such as channel points that you can guys use in order to redeem all sorts of rewards. All right. Bye, everybody. See you in the next one. Oh, what? I just got destroyed. What was that, dude? Watch where you're driving.